What's up scavengers? Have you ever shopped online? Well, of course you have. But you're usually not nervous about the item arrival, right? Unless you're not shipping live ants. You see, for those who don't know, Sweden's climate in December is quite cold, around minus 2 degrees Celsius. Which is not that cold compared to later in the year, but for a South Mediterranean ant species, it is far colder than normal. Having this in my mind, I was really nervous about their well-being, so on the day the package were to come, I told everybody in my neighborhood that if they see the mailman delivering a box to my house, that they would take it inside. I posted notes on my front door, back door and postal box that said, please put the package inside. Well, of course, the Swedish parcel delivered late. So the package came some days later, when no one knew about it. On arrival, the package was actually sitting in the snowy cold for three whole hours. I came home, brought it inside as fast as I could and came to this. My first impression was that they were both stone dead. Therefore, I handled them far too roughly, simply because I thought I knew that they were dead. But suddenly, a leg moved on one of the queens, and my heart went to 0 to 100 in an instant. I held them tightly in my hands to heat them up for a while, and man oh man was they alive. Two minutes after, they were awake as they should. Awesome! Although I felt so bad when I realized that I had handled them like this, whilst they were actually alive. Lesson learned, never assume ants are dead. So what are these beauties? Well, I will explain that whilst you watch them move into a new, larger and better test tube. This one is a red-headed Messer Barbarus Queen, which I actually hinted about on my Instagram. And oh, by the way, go follow that to stay up to date. Anyways, I have been dreaming about this Messer Barbarus Queen for a long time. Actually, since a fellow great ant YouTuber, that is Amazing Ants, uploaded a time-lapse video of his colony, harvesting and collecting seeds. His awesome channel will be linked in the description. I mean, just look at them, aren't they awesome? Well, my Messer Barbarus colony will take a while to grow that large, but it will happen, sometime. Also, as I said, I bought a red-headed morphed queen. This means that the colony members will have red heads. This is simply a color morph, and some workers will have more distinct red heads than others. Now, let's look at this girl, a Messer Wasmani queen. This measure species is also a seed collector, as almost all measure species are. However, as you can see, her body is much more slick and shiny compared to my Barbarous Queen. When I see them, I think of a fancy Rolls Royce compared to an awesome bulldozer. This might just be me, or what do you guys think they look like when compared? Tell me in the comments. This species has actually a red thorax instead of a red head. Awesome, right? Although the Queen's thorax doesn't look that reddish now. However, her workers and majors definitely will. Just look at this awesome picture of a Wasmani worker. The crimson thorax goes really well with a shiny black head. The color scheme actually reminds me a bit of Formica rufa, or commonly known as the wood ant. Oh, and did I mention that Messer species actually produce majors? The most awesome member of the colony, equipped with some huge heads with gigantic mandibles to crush seeds. I can't wait to get my first majors to be born. Now, you might be wondering, can I buy these awesome ants as well? And as a matter of fact, you can, even from the same seller as I did. Ants are us. If you go to their website, you can find many other ant species, ranging from Laceous Niger to Campanotus Changbang. The link is in the description. If you want to get more personal with the seller, go to their Facebook page and send off a message. And by the way, if you use the code A.Scandinavia, that is with no capital letters, on checkout, you will get 20% off on your purchase. How amazing isn't that? But be fast, only 30 people are able to use this code. My two Messer Queens will be put into hibernation for a while now. However, not as long as my Swedish native ant which will be in hibernation until early March. However, these two will only be in hibernation for about two months, according to my research and asking around. Some may say other, but two months is what I am going for. Until then, there will be no ant updates. So, see you around, Skeps. For the curious scavengers who want to know why I haven't uploaded in a long time, it is because my PC has had major problems with importing footage from USB and SD cards. A problem that is solved on some computer resource, but most of the times when I start my computer, you simply can't connect any SD card. This is actually an issue I addressed on my Instagram, ants underscore Scandinavia. Until I fix this problem, videos might become scarce, but I will do my best to keep posting. Also, in this video, I use my phone to record my audio. 
since I do not have access to my headset when making this video, was it even better than before maybe? Tell me in the comments, please. Until next time, have a great one scavengers, and happy holidays. Bye!